Hello, welcome to Java CIT. This is a part 2 of Bootstrap. In this video, I am going to show you how to download and install Bootstrap with responsive example. Let's start. First, open browser. Type here google.com. Enter. And type here Bootstrap. Enter. Click getbootstrap.com. Okay. This is a Bootstrap's official website, getbootstrap.com. You can also type directly in URL getbootstrap.com and enter. Okay. Just like a get boot strap.com okay and enter okay as you can see here lot of bootstrap versions 4.1 4.0 3.3.7 .3 and 2.3.2 .2, right you can download any one of these versions as your according if you want to download 4.1 then click here otherwise you click here okay I'm clicking here you scroll down and click on download download is started okay and if you want to download 4.0 then select this option click on download download is started right ok you can download any one of these version because almost every versions are same just a little difference is that a new class has been added of advanced level in every update version okay you have to download one more jQuery file I will tell you how to download okay jQuery.com Click here, download. As you can see here, download the compressed production jQuery 3.3.1. Right? Click here. And download started. After download it, open the path where you saved the bootstrap file. I saved bootstrap on desktop. Let's go to the desktop. See, this is the file. Now we have to extract this file. Okay, right click, extract files. Okay. Now I create a new folder here. Right click, new, and folder. And folder name is bootstrap. And two more create here new folders. Right click. Folder name is CSS. And another folder name is JS. Okay, two folder created. 
and now open this folder bootstrap 4.1.3 as you can see here two folders one is css and another js right open this css folder and you can see here a lot of css and css map right but i select these two files bootstrap dot css and bootstrap dot main dot css copy this file and open this folder and click on css folder and paste here control plus v and again open this folder bootstrap 4.1.3 and open js folder and select these two options bootstrap.js and bootstrap.min.js copy and open bootstrap folder and open js folder and paste here control plus b and copy jquery 3.3.1 open bootstrap folder and open js folder and paste here bootstrap is ready and now you can use bootstrap in your project like php asp.net and java etc now we have to open notepad press window key plus r and type notepad and click on ok notepad open you can also use notepad plus plus ok and type here html close html tag f section and close add body section close body link relation style sheet fetch reference now what we type here we type here style sheet link ok minimize open bootstrap and click on css folder right click on bootstrap.css properties see css this is the name of cs folder ok copy and open notepad space and paste here control plus p and slash and again open this copy bootstrap dot css
now we add here script file scripet script slash scripet src equal to now we type here a script file object query ok we save this notepad first index dot html ok this file name save in this folder you know bootstrap folder remember now open js folder js folder is inside bootstrap folder ok so open this folder click on js folder and see jquery 3.3.1 right click here properties and copy this name js folder open notepad and control plus v paste here and slash and again open this and copy control plus c and control plus v and again script now we type here open bootstrap folder click on js folder and we copy this so right click here properties copy js slash copy bootstrap dot js control plus c and paste here control plus v enter div class row close div div plus call md six see in bootstrap there were twelve columns divided the next video I will tell you properly how columns work in bootstrap ok I forgot to give a close tag here slash ok and I remove doc type from here if you want you can keep no problem but I remove it from here ok control plus s see I am working on desktop window 10 that's why min.js is not visible if you are seeing min.js in your system then keep it aside don't remove it ok I copy this and paste here again control plus s save and execute browser see we are not getting column properly right so I will set background color 
each coulomb okay this time background color red and i type here some text okay java cit style blue and type here some text Control plus S, save, and replace browser. Okay, I will resize the screen. See? The screen was resizable as according, right? Now, I type here some text and alignment from left to right and center. Okay, let's see. style style text align right Ctrl plus S, save, and replace browser. See, text shifted in right side. Okay. Now I want to shift this text in left side. Okay. So, just change here. Left. Ctrl plus S. Repress. See, text shifted in left side, and now I want to this text in a center. And type here center. Control plus S, and repress. See, text is center. Right? See when I responsive here, so this is a complete tutorial which I have shown you how to download and install with responsive example, right? Hope you like this and I will catch you on next video. Thank you so much for watching.